Hi everyone, so in the last video we understood what is Azure Change Tracking and Inventory and set up using Azure Monitor Agent. In this video we are going to see how can we set up Windows Services Monitoring Alert on the VM. Alright, to check that in the Azure portal we have a Windows VM created. We'll search for Change Tracking first. So in the Change Tracking you can see the extension is already enabled and it is getting data from the VM. Next we'll go to the Open Change in Inventory Center. In the changes section, you will see all the changes what is happening inside the VM for the Windows services, it, how it is modified, getting started or stopped. Next, we can go to settings to see how it is configured. We can here see the settings for Windows file, Linux files, registry and the services and file content. We'll head over to Windows services. You can see it is configured right now for 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, the data will be collected from the VM. I will go one step back. In the inventory section, we'll see the machines like in my case i have windows vm i can see the software installed i can see the files the registry which i've set up to get monitored the windows services and linux statements if i have a linux vm so right now what we are going to do is to get alerted when a particular critical windows services we have set up for monitoring get stopped and how do we configure it so i'll select a random service here with the name crypto service in the portal, we can see the service is named with the crypto SVC, which is same in here. So now we'll set up an alert to get alerted whenever this particular service gets stopped. In your case, it could be any critical service you want alerted. So now to configure it, first of all, we'll head over to the log analytic up here. I'll head over to the Azure documentation. I'll choose one alert here. I'll copy it. Come back here and paste and run it. So I'll next go to new alert rule. In here, I'll scroll below. I'll check the granularity to 10 minutes because every 10 minutes the data is going to be collected. I'll choose the dimension to computer. Right now it will not show anything because this alert has not detected any machine in which the this particular service was stopped. For this, I will stop this service for once so that a log gets generated and it detects the machine. So I've stopped the service and I'll head over back to the portal. I'll leave that empty for now and I'll go to next. I'll use the operator greater than zero. And I'll go to next actions. For the action group, I'll use my personal email ID to get notified. In here, I'll use my email and OK and I'll next actions leave that empty and review and create. So whenever a alert gets generated this will be sent to this particular email I'll next I'll head over to details. I can choose critical or severity error according to my need. In the alert rule name I'll say crypto critical window service down and I'll review and create. Now that the alert is created, I'll head over to alerts and then alert rules. So I'll wait for the log to get generated as I've just stopped the service. In here you can see it still shows running because it will take 10 minutes from the VM to get data. I've refreshed my page and you can see the service is stopped. So a log must have been generated. I'll head over to the alert rule. I'll click on edit. All right, I have to change the name of the service. So you can see a log has been generated for the Windows VM which states that the service state is stopped right now and the previous was running. So if I go back and I see the machine if it's getting popped up. So you can see the Windows VM is coming in here automatically now. I'll save the alert and start the service again. So let's wait till the service is started and then we'll stop the service to see how it generates the alert. So meanwhile it's getting stopped, you can see we can configure the alert for any change in files, we can configure alert for the any software which does not meet the version. Like in this case the monitoring agent, if it's not this version it will alert you, like it's been upgraded or downgraded, you will get an alert. You can also configure the alert for the registry keys 
via this way i'll attach this document a link on the description so you can check that out let's do a refresh all right so you can see the service is started now now i'll stop the service and see how we get notified so in exactly 10 minutes there will be a refresh and a alert will get triggered so you can see now that the service is stopped let's wait for the alert to get triggered let's go to the history all right so you can see that the alert is fired now and if i click on this you can see a lot of other details as well like the query and the additional details so i'll go to my gmail and see how the alert is sent out so you can see the query condition cross the threshold of zero so meaning even if one log is there of this particular result query then the alert will get triggered so you can see that computer is windows vm you can see what kind of service was it which you can define in the description as well for the monitoring you can include the more detailed description as well if i scroll below you can see the details for configuration change and all other details thank you for watching this video